Hola! Welcome back to Nourish Sunday. I'm your host, Joanna, certified in holistic nutrition from the Canadian School of Natural Nutrition. This series is all about healthy eating, as big as it sounds, with simple steps, simple actions that we can take one day at a time. It can really make a huge difference in our life, how we feel, and in our little one's health and well-being which makes us happier as parents, right? Today's topic is about colics. That's a very big topic. And I wanna share with you four uh, tips to um, hopefully soothe things a little bit and things that have worked for me. Um, first of all, colics, um, it's not very well understood what is causing it. Um, so there is not one clear answer uh, in the medical world um, or in research. It's kind of unclear and people disagree on what's the cause. But um, there is one thing that resonates with me is that um, newborns digestive systems and babies digestive systems are not fully developed yet. So that means that the muscles um, don't really manage to uh, rhythmically move, you know, the milk and everything they're getting um, in a way that get through smoothly. And that's what may cause the pain of colics. Um, you know, it's not guaranteed that's the answer, but that's one uh, of the reasons that I've read and that resonate with me. Um, so a few things, four tips to hopefully ease things out. Um, and if your little one is suffering from colleagues, my heart goes to you, um, but know that things will get better. Um, number one, my favorite of all times, is good probiotics. Um, and for babies, you can find drops. So I highly, highly recommend BioGaia. That's the brand. Um, so this one, it's in French because I got them from friends. Um, but you get the same here uh, in the stores. Uh, it's a French brand, I believe. No, not even. It's Swedish. Anyways, it's very common in France. Um, and so you get the little drops. And it's very easy to use. Um, so you just put it into your baby's mouth. And it's five drops a day. Um, or otherwise advised. And that can really make a big difference. Um, because... Healthy probiotics really help the digestive system. It supports it um, to grow and mature. And it's going to soothe um, things, hopefully, for you. Another thing that has worked well for us is gripe water. Now, I know that in Canada, it's been recalled in some places, um, the last batch. So it may be a bit harder to find right now. Uh, in fact, I didn't find any. Um, at the grocery store um, a couple of weeks ago I was looking for it because even though my kids are a bit older it's really great I really like how it works and also for adults actually when you when you have a bit of a tummy ache it's fantastic so um, it's a mix of different um, herbs and I think it, I believe it has some fennel in there which is fantastic for digestion and I mean generally speaking it's only natural products you can get the alcohol free version for your babies if you worry about that so that's great and it really really so this thing um, and you don't have to worry that you're putting you know chemicals or other things into your baby's body because all of those things are um, healthy plants and also um, you could also actually make a tea that's one thing I've made for my little ones a fennel fennel tea fennel is fantastic for digestion and it's usually in the um, Breast milking mom's teas. Um, I think it's a better name. Lactation tea. There you go. Um, there's fennel in there. So actually, I have also given a tea for my baby in bottle, a little bit of that tea. Once the, you know, there were about four months, um, they can already start to have a bit of water and stuff. And that has helped too. It's not as powerful as the gripe water because the gripe water is a bit more concentrated and has other stuff in there too. Okay, number three, dental chiropractic treatments um, in the back that can also help big, big time. So I recommend you talk to your local chiropractor, uh, maybe see who is specialized in infants, um, newborns, babies, because it can be really, really beneficial. And sometimes it's just a matter of shifting things a little um, because, again, like 
maybe there's something that's getting a bit twisted along the way because again it's not fully mature inside there um so by you know aligning things in the body then everything can actually get into the spot it should be and then things work out smoother and last but not least number four a lot of love and tlc for both babe and the parent because it can be so hard to go through it so really um you know take some time to breathe um take it easy try to relax i know it's hard when your baby's screaming non-stop but really um patience and love it's all that's gonna really help and know that it's gonna get better all right I hope that helps. I will see you again next week. Thank you so much for listening. And in the meantime, I hope you eat well and are well. Ciao.